what it's like starting hand at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's not a whole lot of fun, but the hay has got to be put up right for it to have the value that it needs to have for these cattle in the wintertime. At times it gets a little bit too humid in the middle of the night, two or three, and you've got to stop till five or six in the morning and then pick up again. That's not really been the case this year. We've pretty well been able to go all night, which makes for getting a lot of stuff done, but it makes for a lot of long hours as well. It's just a part of it. You got to get it right for these cattle. We're here in outside of Lodge Grass, Montana on MJB Ranch. We've got about 800 head of registered cows and 3,000 acres of dry land farm ground. We're just really, really blessed to be here in this, in this country that we're in. It's some of the best in the world, in my opinion, and, and it's really a pleasure to ranch here and to live here and work here. One of my favorite things about ranching is is the challenge that it that it offers you uh, to allow yourself to to build a program and, and to make improvements. It's very rewarding when you set yourself up to be challenged and you accept it and it's an exercise in patience and in breeding cattle different than pork or poultry. It takes quite a while to, to make generational changes. Feed efficiency though is, is really the number one in my book right now as far as sustainability. It's just the margins have gotten tighter. You've got to do more with less and if you can lower your input costs, that's as good a way as you're going to come across in anything on one of these ag operations to, to impact that bottom line. And therefore that's just going to affect your sustainability. When it all comes down to the end, pounds of beef is, is what you've got to have. Feed efficiency gives you a really, really great opportunity to take data, implement it into your herd, and know what the results are gonna be. GrowSafe is a good tool to measure efficiency. It's the best way that there is to measure individual animals and then compare them and their contemporary groups. It's just, it's so accurate and so reliable that it's just really extremely hard to argue with the results on a GrowSafe system. To me, the main reason that a person wants to use negative RFI tested bulls is that there's so much opportunity in the economics. You can get up to a 20% difference between cattle that have been proven feed efficiency tested and cattle that have not. That can be a pretty huge number. I mean, if you've got 500 cows in this part of the country, you're, you're generally feeding probably five months out of the year. Uh, and I figured at $100 a ton hay, and $25 an animal unit month, the difference can potentially be $40,000 on a 500 head cow outfit for a year. Then anybody that owns a cow understands. If you've got 100 cows and they're feed efficiency bred, and you can run 120 now versus what you were doing 10 years ago on 100 and still have the same results. You've not given up anything performance wise. You've probably increased your pregnancy rate because feed efficient cattle tend to maintain their body condition better and they tend to breed back better. So you're probably gonna get some other rewards that you're not really thinking of right on the front end of that. People maintain that the health in cattle improves because of that as well. The cattle are in better condition. And they acclimate very well because they convert very well. Grow Safe allows cattle to be feed efficiency tested. It's a greener product less consumption of feed, less methane gas uh, per pound of beef produced, more uh, utilization of resources, uh, more pounds of beef on the same ground. It's just, it's efficient all the way down the line and you know that's one of the reasons that it's here to stay. People are going to be demanding those kind of things and, and we're going to provide it to them.